is X-Class. Well, the beginnings of X-Class in a lot of ways, I would say. You can see there's a lot of different designs here in wood. But again, wood always really results into some nasty damages. You could fly, you could possibly win, but if you have a hard landing, you probably will not finish the race. So it's something that you can do to get yourself going, but I highly recommend that you just stay away from wood. Um, this is my proof why. <laughs> I did the homework for you, so please stay away from wood. Use it if you have to, but um, if you really want to go to the next level, this is aluminum. This is aluminum that you can get at any Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store for that matter. This is a polycarbonate plate, 6 millimeter that we created with TPU for a little gushing to take out some of the um, vibrations. This is really awesome because what happens now, this bends before it breaks. And I've literally been in a race where they bent and I bent it back and been able to finish the race. And really that's the point for me is to finish the race. Anything that's gold standard, that would be T-Motor, APD, Master, Airscrew, and Brain. You're going to spend a little bit more, but most likely come in first, second, and third using those parts and components. Now saying that, we are in the 12S world where um, I'm just starting to get into it. I'm happy enough at 6S because as you see, I've built a lot of these. I enjoy just flying and noodling around and doing freestyle with X-Class. One of the funkier ones, but being creative, you know, this is a PVC piece that comes from a furniture store to make stuff. And this was created by Jack and he shared this with me. And the only reason this thing still flies is because I have not crashed it yet. So again, I'm telling you, stay away from wood. Um, I do really mean that, but at the same time, you can have a lot of fun with it. And this is your standard, like what you would use for a 450. This is a 2212, 1000 kV, 10 inch props with 40 amp ESCs that go up to 6S. So I've done it 4S, I've done it 6S. I had a better result on 4S. It's not a, um, a it's more of a cruiser, you know, it's not, you're not going to be shredding hard on this. You're going to just be noodling and be able to do flippity floppity do. We have a couple different power distributions that uh, we're looking at here. Standard, this is your standard two ounce that was been around for a while. Highly recommend that you do not use this. You can see what happened there. Um, and then if you follow these, you can see that it arced and went all the way through there, 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 there. So this board is all gone. It does not work. It worked for a while, but once it, you know, you arc it hard enough, um, then it's just done. And you might be wondering, why would I have XT60s? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Because hot swappable. You know, if you get in a crash, you want to swap an arm out, boom, back in the game. Which really let me go into the whole idea of doing a power harness. This is a power harness. This is the way I like to make these things and I'll show you quickly how they are made. I would start off with eight inch pieces of wire and then I would take four inches in, I would clip it, get this back and then I would go ahead and wick it, make sure you put all the flux in there, get some solder in there, do the same thing with this wire and then you get the soldering iron hot enough, you press this on so these two would stick and then this would be your lead to your power. So once that happens and these things are sticking together, then you do with this guy, same idea. You put it on there, get it to wick, right? And then you start wrapping this around and end up something like that. And the idea is like, this is not gonna unsolder on you. This is solid pieces going through. And to finish it off, what you need to do, what I like to do is put at least three JSTs. Minimal three in my world. One's going to be for your VTX, one's going to be for your flight controller, one's going to be for your LEDs. Um, that's what I mainly use them for. So minimal of three. It's pretty funny how uh, you always need that extra little bit of power, but if you do it now, it's there for you. Um, so here's another way of doing power distribution. These are from, this is a, what's that, Home Line. Again, from Home Depot or Lowe's bus bars and we do the same thing where we attach them in cut them down and we got the leads in there and then you have XT60s coming out so again 
hot swappable. So if you're in the race and you bend an arm, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and you're back in the race. All right, APD, if you don't know, you should know, you know, because they make the best parts and components for X class and B's class. So this is their PDB. If you are going into the 12S world, this is where you need to be playing around with something. That's some serious stuff because yeah, you're going to pay more, but you're going to get what you get. But let's go back to our budget build over here. I kind of want to break it down. What is a budget build going to cost? You can make your $50 frame from Home Depot, from parts and pieces. The motor is $80. This is $80 for four. And the ones I'm specifically talking about are the ones from Racer Star. The 4114 400 KVs that you get from Banggood. These are something for you to get started. These are not your race day winners, I would say. This is for you to get started. With that, go to the ESEs. Again, $80. That's not for one. That's for a set of four. That would be your DYS 70 Ampers. And again, your Racer Star 80 Ampers. Um, I would kind of stay away from the Racer Star 80 Ampers because I've been having fires with them recently. So I'm kind of leaning toward DYS. DYS. Woo Props. I like to use the RC Timer 1455 carbon fiber props. Why? Because I like them and I like the price. I can get a full set for $50 shipped and actually when I say a full set I mean two sets. Um, it's like 30 something but after shipping and all their little funny taxes it comes under $50. So that's a pretty good price point for you to have extras. PDB, I am making the $5 PDB, so power harness, so there's $5. And your FC, which is $50. Again, I highly recommend that you get the Brain FPV flight controller because it is the stuff. Um, and then your VTX, you know, it's a per personal choice. You know, I am a big fan of the uh, Unifies. The Unifies have done nothing but good things in my life, but I will also say the same thing about Tramps. So, um, Unified Tramp, that's a, always a choice. And then for camera, I would say that you would use a Caddx, a um, Run Cam, or a Fox Ear. There's nothing else that I would recommend. So I roughly say 60 bones. So what does that total up to? We're at $375 in parts, pieces, and components to get yourself a pretty rocking X Class. Um, again, you're not going to be the fastest, but I've seen enough X Class races. You don't need to be the fastest to win. I've seen 12S rigs melt out into the corner and last place come in at a first. So for me, again, X-Class, it's about flying big drones. You, you have to have your own attitude about it. I win every time I fly. Get out there. Get flying. To the moon.